What is up you guys? Here we are with a banded glute warm up. So this is a warm up you're gonna wanna do before your leg day, before glute day, um, or if you just wanna hit some glutes midweek, grab your band, you're gonna do some seated abduction first. Then we're going into an angled clamshell. So you're not all the way down, but you're still seated and just angle your legs out to the side. Boom, then you're gonna go back to the seated abduction, pushing the knees out, and then we're gonna go ahead and go to the other side as well. Make sure you're exhaling as you push the knees out and keep your core nice and tight. Breathe. After that, you're flipping over into a plank position and going kickbacks on each leg, squeezing the glutes right into a plank jack is what it's called, where you bounce the feet out and bounce them in. I'm listening to some of my favorite music and really vibing out and jamming. Next up, we're going into a kickback. So you're gonna stay in the low plank position on the elbows and you're gonna first kick it straight back and then go right into a dog pee. And then we will do both of those moves on the other leg, other side. So same thing, first kicking back, driving through the heel and then next bringing it up and out to the side for a nice little dog pee action. Really making sure it hurts and it burns. Once again, you see me jamming out, having some fun. Once you're, you know, when you're doing your warm up, you really should try to make sure you are having a nice, fun time and enjoying yourself. Don't just make it about getting warm, but also getting into the vibe of working out. So next up, we're gonna add some ab moves. We're going a abduction at 90 degrees with the legs, and then you're gonna reach up and crunch. You should be feeling your abs and your buns already at this point. We're gonna drop the feet and thrust up into a nice glute bridge. I'm really feeling it in my glutes already at this point, you can see my face, but we are gonna go ahead and keep rocking it and try to go into a thruster with a knee pulls out at the top. I'm making it a little bit easier for myself by moving the band closer to my hips. You can also do the same if you like, um, but if you don't have a super hard band, try to keep it right at those knees. Once again, we're gonna go take it into these abs a little more by crunching the knee straight in against the band and then bringing our shoulder blades up. Last move we're finishing off with is a little reverse knee uh, crunch with a knee abduction. Go ahead and get into your workout and I hope you're nice and warm. <laughs>